Hi everyone. Memories are a beautiful gift that we could give someone. My name is Christopher Ayer. Welcome to Seasons of Music. <laughs> Hi everyone. Welcome to Seasons of Music. In this episode, we will be chatting with some of the long-standing members of the group who have joined me. Uh, we'll be going down memory lane and just asking them how the group has impacted their lives. So firstly, I just want to welcome each one of you. And maybe you all can introduce yourselves, maybe. Well, Bernadette is on set with me. She is the founder and musical director of the group. Ronald, maybe you could start and, and just tell us how long you've been in the group. Um, hi, Chris, and thank you very much. Um, my name is Ronald Searle. I've been with the group, and let me be, let me be precise, it's supposed to be since 1984. And you know, I've been singing with that group, singing with the group for, wow, what that time. Jacinda. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jacinda, I've been in the group for the 50 years, um, starting 1970. Um, it has been a great experience. I am Marcia Aros Mendez. I've been in the group for six years, yes, and um, wow, it is just learning it's been a and experience, <laughs> and yes, you know, and family, whatever you get, yes, yes it is for God's glory. Yes. Wendy? <laughs> the best thing ever in my life, 36 years and counting, um, an experience, an experience. And Debbie? I am Debbie Arundel. Uh, I joined, I think, in 1989. I cannot remember the year properly, but it has <laughs> been an amazing experience. And we're looking forward to many more years, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> so Bernard, this is, is the group, uh, which I'm also part of. And I know it's, it's like a family. You know, um, and so it's, it's great to, to bring this, these mice, these years of, of experience from each one. I'm sure you're proud of, of having them support you over the years. And as, as these are sitting here, it, it just so happened that you, 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 know, you call out some of the who have been here a long time, and these have really, everybody has really contributed. Everybody contributes some a little more because they can. We miss, we miss having. To, today with us, Gerald yes. Barnes, but he, he's ill because he's been there for 40 years himself. And, you know, I was so happy to hear when they said that they hope it goes on for many, many more years because, <laughs> I'll be honest, uh, for the last year I've been thinking, how much longer can I be honest, go on? It is total dedication. But you've been saying that for years. Yes. <laughs> but it's always but Chris, comes back to... <laughs> I've been saying it for years, but you know, now as you get younger, and I don't care, I can boast about my age because I, I think I look okay. I'm going to be 77 in two weeks. Wow. And I started this when I was 25. And your body gives you a message, you know, and I've, I have noticed that over the last two years, aches and pains, high blood pressure, whatever is going on. You don't have the strength. I, I, you have the will, but physically, it's very difficult. But it's also very difficult for everybody in a way that people have commitments with their families. Right. When we first started, everybody wasn't married. They didn't have children. Now we're dealing with the senior group anyhow, yeah. where people have families and working. So it is a, it's really difficult. And of course, Love Movement is not just one group. Right. So you have these kids. And I have to also work with the youth. Yeah. So I'm asking God for guidance because, honestly, it is really becoming um, difficult for me. Yeah, but so. when, when you have a group of people like this, like Jacinta. Yeah, but Jacinta's <laughs> getting going. Oh, so, <laughs> so Jacinta has... has taught the sun where to stand in the morning and who told the ocean you can only come this far 
And who told the moon where to hide till evening? Whose words alone can catch a falling star? to you so yes so you were in in uh marinettes the, but you were in the the church saint choir, church choir and, I was in the same concert that and and did you think it was madness coming to just you know join this group out of the blue or, or you just felt the the, no, the, the, the the i just felt the call to come because she was also well, after that we decided to form the outreach in 1991 or somewhere around there was it yeah, but that's long, long yeah, that's after. Long yeah. after. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was just 15 people for the yeah. first concert. Yeah. The second concert, we had 25 with 10 guys. And it okay. stayed 25 for about right. 25 years, yeah, 20 years. years. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so yeah. it stayed that little group yeah. for right. many years. So Debbie, you've been in the group for a long time. Also. So tell us your story and how uh, being in a group has impacted your life. 
Well, I joined through Inez Matu, who was the that's musical director at the time. She had heard me singing alto harmonies in St. Teresa's choir. Right. So she knew I could sing harmonies. So at the time they needed altos. Correct, Wendy? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she invited me to come to an audition. I told her, look, I don't do very good auditions. And she said, okay, I'll come anyway. So I came and auditioned while everybody they were actually, you all were actually in Queens all of the time already. Okay. Me, so I don't know how come. But um, I think the show was going to be in April. I did my rehearsal in the back, back room on the side of Queens all there. And I remember, I'll never forget doing that with Inez, I will trust your judgment. <laughs> <laughs> she always throws that in my face. I was hoping you would say it though. She said, I wasn't good enough for you. You had to ask Inez if it was okay. <laughs> Yeah, so speak the truth, you know, you know, I believe in truth. I don't have a... And we can't think of what a movement will be without Deborah, without, right? without any of these people here. Yeah. Yeah. She's the mainstay in many, many ways, right. behind the scenes stuff. And we have our arguments, yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but like, like all families, right? Yeah. There's always arguments, but we can't always be perfect. Yeah, that's how God has made us. Darkness was all I could 
So Ronald, right, coming to you on the meal members long standing with oh, myself. Okay. You know, um, I remember one your first, um, I don't know to say it's your first, but your first solo bit was, was Dreamer, where I played Benjamin. How, yes. how was that for you? And being asked to play that <laughs> part. It was exciting. It was frightening. Because, you know, being asked to get, um, do such a main role, it was really nervous. But do, were you accustomed to doing solos previously well, before joining well, the group? Or? Be, before the movement, I, had, I used to be in, um, well, I was, I was actually solist singing on a Sunday morning in Fatima RC Church. Okay. And then I was asked by um, a gentleman by the name of Herman Figueroa, he's a past member. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has also passed. Yes. Right? And he said, Would you like wouldn't you like to join the movement group? He said, he asked me if I've heard about it. I said, Yes, I heard I heard about it. I said I actually went to one of the concerts, I think it was Memories. Mm -hmm. uh, well that was way back when I was well youngest. Yes. <laughs> Eighty two. <laughs> and and was you know, as I say I was um, yeah, I, I, would, I would mind go, and I went, and I had, a well, an interview with Bernard, you know, she had asked me, well, what, how, how was your voice? Let me hear how your voice sings. And I was actually started singing bass. Oh, I said, wow. I started in the bass section, yeah. Okay. I think you started in the bass section. Yeah, because he's one of the major um, tenors in the group, first tenor. Um, people always look forward to... Ronald's, yeah, singing the solos. Yes. Because I'm, well, they, they told me that my voice is actually uh, what, a lyric baritone. That's what I told them. So that's probably why in my range I could, you know, I could go up and even come down. So I have that sort of reason going for that. Right, thanks. <laughs> um, Marcia, tell me some of your fondest memories of the group. First of all, I heard the love movement a Sunday morning on the radio, uh, radio, what, I remember what station, and they were featuring Bernadette and the love movement. I was totally blue. And that's how I am here still. <laughs> yeah. And um, I'm going to tell you, she has a haunting voice, a mysterious haunting. I couldn't believe it. I'm going to tell you, beautiful. So, that is how I reached it. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, some of your memories? Oh boy. When I, when I did, um, when I did, um, oh, yeah, that's, that was... A highlight for you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. great. Uh, Wendy, coming to you now. And you know, you're the costume mistress, you know. Uh, you were featured in one of our episodes. Tell me, you know, we, we didn't we talk we spoke about costumes, but we didn't talk about you being in the group and part of it. Well, I always struggled to get that year when I joined, but um, I remember um, seeing the love movement on television every noon time, singing the Lord's Prayer. They used to do it every lunchtime. Yeah. Every and I'd look forward no matter what I could be in the bathroom and run out just to hear the Lord's Prayer right. because this is and I wasn't really taking on the name. Yeah. But this choir, this choir oh I'm talking on my course. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and this choir. And one time I remember going to the couch and kneeling down while the I said, hey, what's going on with me? Something is going on with me. And you know, I wish to be in a choir like this. How how, how do you get into a choir like this? And I was no singer. I Sing, you know, you're just singing with your, your parish Church choir, choir yeah. and that's mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. And it went on and on. And one day I was singing uh, just a little solo part in Church St. Michael's mm -hmm. choir. Um, Take Lord, receive. Um, I, you have given all to me, now I return it. Mm -hmm. And it was so meaningful and everything. And um, Catherine Tardier. Yes, my yes. ex-member. Yes. <laughs> yes, she came up to me. Um, excuse me, Wendy. Um, you ever heard about the love movement? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Remember, I told you. Yeah. I just know. You know, that was the name of the choir. I said yes. Um, 
I thought it was a party group, and they used to, you know, promote fets and all of that. <laughs> you know, it sounded okay. like that. Okay. Um, he made, yes. <laughs> he said, um, are you interested in joining? And we are moving right now into a more gospel and, um, you know, ministry. Right. And and I, I know you are into this, and, and, you know, your parish, they look at you and how you have developed mm -hmm. and all of that. And I said, um, okay, sure. And that went on and she told me, well, um, I'll talk to Bernadette Scott, she's the leader at XYZ. And, you know, I keep running after that. He me, oh, what is this about? I don't know. And <clears throat> eventually, um, Bernadette started calling. I mean, all the excuses. I was in Tobago. <laughs> um, I have the call. <laughs> yeah, and eventually, I, I, you know, just, you know, put myself together and say, Wendy, go see what this is all about. And only to know, when I, I came into the room, oh, I was so welcomed by God. Never forget Marian de la Vesey, God rest her soul. Mm -hmm. And oh, Robert Solomon, oh, God rest his soul. Yes. And the whole bunch of them, so welcome in. And, and he is loud and everybody. And they welcomed me and um, made me feel very comfortable. And um, although it was a, a well, a light skin section and a dark skin <laughs> section. <laughs> and, and, but we were all one well, and I yeah. felt it. It was good, it felt yeah. good. And um, yeah, and we, I just moved on and on and went on. Oh, Bernadette said, um, okay, Inez, um, you would um, do the audition with Wendy. Of course, I never went through anything. And she said, oh, she's a first surprise. <laughs> 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 and I was a first surprise. Yeah. <laughs> so here I am. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Debbie, um, you were here when the group, I wouldn't say switch to gospel, but sort of as, as Wendy yeah, said, we were moving that into, to like, yes. Debbie, were you there? Same, we joined, we joined the same yes, time, at the same time. Oh, right okay. We're always trying to remember. To remember. Day, but we can't remember. Right, right. We have to Senior ask Gerald ones, when was you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I'll ask somebody who was in the group before we went into this gospel. Mm -hmm. Was Marcy, you were here then or, or just in time? I think I was there. Just also just before, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because we did Dreamer was it was yeah. the first scroll, and then it was Dreamer after that. the skies. From Jacob's ladder come the promise of a mighty nation, Israel, and God is the foundation. We praise His name and see the way He blesses our devotion. The Lord has chosen our family to set His plan in motion. But from the seed of Jacob, God will bring forth a Redeemer. But first, the vision's handed down to a man they call the Dreamer. Praise His name and see it Let your heart celebrate every 